Hi, I'm Mark. Hello, I'm Ken. So today we're going to be making a really simple beef and vegetable pie from the LNR cookbook for Easter. So the first thing we're going to do is make the hot water pastry um, for the base of the pie. So it's very, very simple. It's half fat to flour. So in this case we're using lard, but you could use margarine, you could use butter, um, a little pinch of salt and then a little touch of water just to bring it back. So if you want to just put the lard in the bowl. That's and get what, your hands really in there. That's why you gave me this job, okay. So the reason that we're doing this first is what we're going to do is your pastry has to be really cold and sort of well rested in the fridge before you start rolling it, before you start putting your mix in it. Otherwise you'll get a lot of shrinkage when you're trying to bake it and, and it'll miss shaping. Um, but you're doing really well, so we're just going to add a little tablespoon of water and then just continue on. And always try and just use your fingertips rather than the palms of your hands because if you use your palms that will just melt the fat which can then split out when you, when you try and bake it. Either on the bench or you can do it in the bowl. So just bring it together and this is where you can be slightly rougher but then as soon as it's come together like that it's done. Right. You don't want to work it anymore. You can get it into a shape, yep. just so it can sit in the fridge. But that's that's it. That's you don't want to work it anymore. You don't want to work the gluten. You don't want to melt the fat. And we'll just rest this in the fridge now for about an hour. So while that's resting in the fridge, we'll get on to start cooking the meat part of the meat pie. Okay, great. Super simple. So we're doing a beef vegetable pie. So we've got double the amount of vegetables to beef okay. and obviously these can be as super seasonal as you like um, and obviously to your taste as well so today we're using some beef yep. and then in here we've got some celery some courgettes, some carrots, some red onion and then just some gravy to bring it all together but it's one of those recipes that once you've got the basic recipe for a pie mm. you can really make it you know however you like so for Easter I mean, we're doing individual pies today, yeah. but it's a great recipe just, even if it's a big pie, middle of the table, everyone helps themselves. Oh, people, yeah. Do you cook at home or I, 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 I dabble actually, I know you, said you you look surprised at that, but no, I actually, no. actually I have got recipe in the Elinear cookbook as okay, well. Okay, which one's yours? Well, mine's a very difficult one. It's, it's well, it's not, it's, a, it's a ridiculously simple bacon, right. bacon and cheese croissant. There's, there's times where recipes need to be complicated, yeah. but then there's times that you just want that comfort and that thing that you know. Mm. So I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, simple recipes, mm. nice and easy. Yeah. And especially if, if the ones that you love, mm. why wouldn't somebody else enjoy it as well? Yeah, it's, it's my Sunday treat, so. So I'm going to sweat down the onion, so if okay. you pass me the onion. Then yeah. I'll add the meat, the vegetables, continue sweating it down, thicken it slightly just with some gravy, um, and then we'll come back to the pastry that's, okay. that's resting in the fridge. Perfect. So we're just going to cut little rounds so that we don't have too much trimmings once we roll it. And then just very lightly flour the bench. And then we're just making individual ones. Okay. Um, but you can make, you can make these any size you want. You can do it in a, a casserole dish and just put pastry on top. So with the route that you travel, I mean, you, you obviously go through such amazing countryside. You must have 
some great suppliers and things. Yeah, ab absolutely. So uh, across the whole of the route, we've, we've got some sort of suppliers in, in, in virtually every, every, every town. You know, so we've mm -hmm. got Newcastle, we've got the, obviously the very famous Harrogate Water as well. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got, we, got, we got all the way up, up, up to Inverness. So uh, every, every single destination, there's, there's someone that we use. And that's probably one of the things that I really love about LNER, that we, yeah. we do go, go out back to the community as well and they're trying to use lo lo local supplies where, wherever we can. It's okay, and we're just going to pop these in the fridge. Okay. Give them 20 minutes, half an hour, All right, and then we can get on with filling them. So Ken, what I'll do is, whilst we're waiting on the pies, yep. if you want to make a bit of mess over there with some flour, oh, okay. you can roll out the lids. So we need three lids, because we're making three pies. So you want to roll backwards and forwards, okay. and then stop there, and then, oh, oh we've, 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 uh, we've had a casualty. We can, we've got those of one. Okay, great. So try and be gentle, try and let the, the weight of the rolling pin roll it, okay. rather than the weight that you want to put on it. Right. So backwards and forwards, stop, lift up, then spin the pastry, yep, yep, backwards and forwards, stop, spin the pastry, backwards, yep, stop, spin the pastry. Excellent. So the cases have had long enough, the, the mixture's cooled down, so we're now going to put them together and then bake some pies. Perfect. So what we'll do is we'll do one each. So we've got the mix, which okay. is cooled down. Yep. We've got the pie cases that have been chilled in the fridge. The lovely lids that you rolled out. And then we'll just fill them up one at a time. Being, you know. That looks really good, doesn't it? It's really good. Fairly generous. And obviously the sauce is quite thick at the moment, yep. but as that heats up, it'll become a lot looser. So the lid goes on. And then just all the way around, sort of medium pressure, because you're sticking the top lid to the base. And then just a little trim. We're just going to put a little hole in the top, and that'll allow any steam just to pop out while it's cooking. All right. So if you want to do that one. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I'm getting all the meat in there, veg. Make sure you get your five a day. Yep. Get it in there. Is that enough? Eh, uh, yeah. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, a little bit more. Go on there. There you go. Yep. And then, yep, you're just pushing it into the... I was going to say corners, but it's a circle. Into the edges. Yep. That's the word I'm looking for. Is that ready to be cut? Perfect. And then just trim it with your knife. So the hole in the top, you can use anything. You can use just a fork to prick it, or a metal cutter, right. or this is just what we had here today. So Perfect. As long as there's a hole for the steam to come out, yep. it'll work. Excellent. So we're just going to put a little bit of egg wash on it, and then we're going to bake these at 180 degrees for about 25 minutes. Right. Okay. So just when it's beautifully golden brown, and then they're ready to serve. So we've got Pie's cooked. Oh, they look great. I've also done some mashed potato, mushy peas and gravy, just as an extra, because why not? Thanks for watching. I've been Mark, this has been Ken. We've had a great time, we're going to continue on with this. If you want to make your version of it at home, make sure you tag us on social media. If you want to see more episodes, check out LNER Weekend Kitchen on social media. Happy Easter, and thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you.